should I say something? So, should I share some insight with you? So every time, Please. so so um, when I when I generate the levels first before I share this with you, I plot this on my trading view to see if, if it makes sense or not. And sometimes you see so many blind spots there, but the market is not um is not there. Yeah, and you think, man, crazy, what's going on? And yeah. then you think like, hey. How can this be possible? There must be an issue. But at the end of the day, man, the picture is so clear and it works. So it's it's like sometimes I'm thinking, man, there must be something wrong in the calculation. Check it again. But at the end, it's it works most of the time. It's sometimes it's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I was thinking the same thing, but it, it makes sense that there's a confluence with, you know, there's there's the spy and there's the uh you know there's every other thing going on and they're all and everybody's trying to position in all of those markets and so there's going to be people trading futures around that to hedge and to mitigate their risk and and futures options and so when you get into these really messy regions like that with all of these blind spots um you know that are being that are uh confluences of every other index it it makes sense that it would be hard you no know, human can make these calculations and figure this out. So that you're going to get a lot of whippy action in there from whatever, whatever decision-making is going on. That's beyond our comprehension. And I think if I can add something, Barry, which is a great point, like, you know, if you trade yes or NQ, right, there's going to be different asset that could affect the price, like QQQ, NDX, SPY, right. But the problem is that the, if you look at the gamma, the net gamma exposure of all these assets, it doesn't look the same. So a lot of the, another question that we get a lot, like why is the SPY gamma exposure different from the SPX, right? So again, you need to understand how the market works and we, who are the players that are trading those assets, right? So if you look at SPY, maybe there's like longer term investors that are trading that because SPY goes into your 401k, goes into like you know your you know pension plan and so on so the the gamma profile of spy might be different from spx where spx maybe like there's more futures traders or there's more like hedge funds that are using zero dd option like things like that so having those blind spots will allow you to then understand how you know the market could react on different assets that are very correlated but they don't necessarily move in the same direction mm -hmm.